Brian, Fox Sports Next here with Michael Laro. Michael, you played in your first game last week. Did it take time to get the rustiness off? Um, I don't know, because I've been practicing this whole time, but I, I was I had butterflies, but that's usual. <laughs> do, do, you, do you usually have butterflies five games into the season, or did you treat it like a <laughs> season opener? Uh, no, nah, I usually have butterflies five games in the season, <laughs> like the first couple of plays, but I mean, it was, it was really exciting, so yeah. Hey, everybody always talks about how game action is so much quicker. Since you had experience playing, did it take you any time to adjust to that? Um, yeah, it did. It did. I mean, I spent a good amount of time out, and uh, even from last year, too, so it did. All right. Just in terms of getting back on the field, what, what is the whole feeling of just breathing a sigh of relief and playing football? Oh, and you can... it's like the best feeling in the world. Like, you just, like, finally, you know? But, um, you know, I'm just excited to be back and, you know, be on the field and help contribute on the field. You practiced with the team for the first four games. What did you take out of that experience? Um, I took, I took it. I was really excited because I mean, although it was unfortunate what happened and you know the, the situation or whatever and why I was there. I mean, I tried to take the good and positive out of it because I got to work against our ones on our scout team. So I use them and I and they use me to get better. So you know, I felt as though I got better also. So playing against the ones and the offensive line has done so much better this year than the past couple of years. Were you able to tell early on in the process that, hey, this offensive line is much better? Yeah, I, I mean, just the way they gel together, you know, I just, I could just see how hard they want it. And, you know, talent's just great there. Hey, what, what part of your game do you think you improved the most on during the last month? Um, I would have to say maybe just my worth ethic, you know. Yeah, maybe it's just uh, me being excited for you know for coming back and stuff like that, but definitely my work, work ethic. Work ethic was that on the field? Was it in the film room, weight room? Where where? Um, just all around. Okay. Yeah. Every time I see you, I'm amazed at how slender you look. Oh yeah. But you're not going to be like a fashion model anytime. Oh soon, no right? no no. I'm good. I'm good at where I am. <laughs> I was going to say I don't know if you're going to be walking down a runway soon. Or something. <laughs> Hey, um, you know, everybody's always talking about catching the ball in the passing game. The running game's going very well for you guys. You're a big part of that. What's that feeling like, finally be able to run the ball when you want to? I just feel good knowing that um, every game we're going to go in with a great game plan from Coach and go hard on the field and play, do what we can to get our running back some open lanes. But I would imagine it feels better than just good. <laughs> no, it does, it does, it does. But I think at this point in time in our season, you got to stay humble and continue doing what we're doing. In the passing game, what have you seen with your role? Are you happy with it? or, or what, what, When you look at the passing game and how it uses a tight end, what do you say? Um, I, I enjoy it. You know, we get the opportunities to catch the ball, and the tight ends are catching the ball. I'm catching it, and we're taking advantage of what we get. With the fullback situation now, Burton's not playing. I guess Bergen will play this week, Coach Flood said. But Carrizola is getting a lot of time, fullback, H-back, whatever you want to call it. He's mm -hmm. not lining up at tight end. How does that change things for you? Um, it's, it's pretty much the same game plan for me. You know, Paul has been doing the F for a numerous amount of years. He's just never been in the game at it as much. And he's executed, and we're, I'm executing the position I got to do. So it's, it's, pretty the same. it's pretty much the same. You know, watching your last game, it was too tight. Carrizola's in the backfield. The other tight, obviously, is Tyler Croft. Have you spoken with him much about how to handle all this stuff and being ready? Um, I think Tyler, you know, he's been prepared since the um, season, since the summer and off season. He knows his job. He knows what he's got to do. It's just that the situation happened with Burton, and we was ready to go in as three tight ends set. And, and with Croft, do you talk to him much about just blocking philosophy? and Because he always said that's the part he needed to get in his game the most. And... We know how far you've come in that area. Have you talked to him about some of the fundamental keys of that stuff? Um, all the tight ends, you know, we try to help each other out as much as we can. I, I wouldn't say it's something that Tyler couldn't do. It's just something he didn't do as much, you know, coming out of high school. And he's getting better and better every day. What tight end does block a lot out of high school? Yeah, I know, I know. Well, I didn't block at all out of high school. <laughs> Neither did he. Yeah. Hey, um, well, you for a different reason. But, but anyway, um, when you look at Syracuse, what do you see from their defense on film, obviously without giving away game plan and everything? Um, I think they're a pretty physical team. You know, they come to play every game. You know, they got some good linebackers, good end, good sacking there. It's just something we just got to focus on what we got to do and execute our assignments. Syracuse games are always weird when this when these two teams play. <laughs> Whether it was last year, the craziness at the Dome, or I think it was a missed field goal before that, and then 
it's a blitz game up at Syracuse. Yeah. <laughs> you remember, what is it about these games that make them different? I, I feel like these are different than any other Big East games you play. I don't know. I, I guess it's a, it's a conference. It's a conference game, and their their defense is somewhat similar to ours as far as guys coming full speed, and you know, just something that we we get a chance to go against in every practice. You know, and you know, we just. I don't know what it is about Syracuse and us when we play them that it end up being a crazy game, but you know this year we're just going to focus on what we got to do and come to play. Other than last thing DC is other than the focus and, and just taking it the game at a time, what has allowed this team to be undefeated at this point? Is there something you really point to and say, man, that that's what we're doing? Um, I, I would say it as that we we focus on the one game that's ahead and you know leave the past in the past and you know we still. Happy that we accomplished those goals, but we're just focused on one one week of practice at a time, good practice every day leading up to the game. And the game is just uh, another day to execute um, our game plan in front of thousands of people. So I think that's something we focus on.